Good afternoon, folks. My name is Dan. I'm a missionary. And I'm out here with some friends to share some information and a presentation on the sketchboard here. God is nowhere. That's one of the things it could say. What else could it say? Anybody? God is now here. Could say God is nowhere. Could say God is now here, depending on how you read it. Now the question is, can both of those things be true at the same time? Can God exist and not exist at the same time, provided using the same definition in both sentences? I would argue with you that you can't. It cannot be true. God either exists or he does not. Now there are some things that are a matter of opinion, and there are some things that are a matter of truth. It's not a matter of your faith, it's a matter of truth. Let me put it in this perspective. How do we know whether God exists? I've got a building here. You can see some nice houses out here. How do you know that a building has a builder? You can't see the builder, but you know the builder exists because the building exists. The building is absolute tr proof that there was a builder. He came to earth and lived the life we should have lived but couldn't. Then died the death that we deserve on the cross 2,000 years ago. And when he was on the cross, all God's anger and hatred and wrath towards sin was poured out on Jesus Christ so it didn't have to be poured out on us. Scripture says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. And God is so good and so kind that though we were rebels against him deserving nothing but his justice, he took that justice on himself. The king took off his royal robes and was crucified on a cross between two thieves.